Here's the, the, the science, science guy. guy. Yeah, Bruce Lee, Lee, the, the science, science guy. guy. Welcome to the series premiere and series finale of Bruce Lee, the science guy. Bruce Lee could not be here today because he died. Filling in for him today is a dude named Ronin. Welcome. Thanks for letting me be on the show. Today's topic is force and motion. Oh, motion, motion. The main scientist behind this topic is Isaac Newton. Nice face, man. The definition of force is a push or pull used to accelerate objects. Here's some pictures showing different types of force. Force is measured by Newtons, a force that causes a mass of one kilogram to accelerate one meter per second is equal to a Newton. Newton came up with three laws of motion. The first law of motion is, if the total force of an object is zero, the object stays in that motion. For example, if you push a perfectly smooth object on a frictionless floor, it will go on forever. The second law of motion is, when the forces are unbalanced of an action, there is an acceleration. The acceleration depends on the net force and the object's mass. The net force is an unbalanced force. The third law of motion is, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, if you push a wall, it will push back on you as hard as you are pushing it. There are also three types of motion. One of them is natural motion. Natural motion is objects going to their natural place on the ground and come to rest. For example, if I throw this frisbee up in the air, it'll just come back down because that's its natural place. Another example is if I jump, I come back down. Another type is called voluntary motion. Voluntary motion is motion showed from animals and humans. They moved because they chose to. I walk because I choose to. I dance because I choose to. I'm awesome. The last type of motion is forced motion. Forced motion occurs when an object acts on another object to make it move. For example, here's a piano. I hit the piano key with my finger. The piano key hits a string in the back of the piano. So basically, it's a chain reaction. That's it for Bruce Lee the Science Guy. Thanks for watching. Oh, and good luck to Ronin for getting a good grade on his science project. Yay!